welcome brand new truck brand new company brand new week okay where do we begin oh my goodness what a difference driving this truck compared to the other one okay so the other truck had lots of pros to it and had some cons to it but i tell you what huge difference in the ride um huge difference in uh, road noise too i mean yes this one still has noise but doesn't seem to be anywhere near as bad as what the other one was or it's not as bad but this one's not as loud um so what can you expect this week uh well we're gonna do uh, just our normal uh, weekly thing uh, i don't know how much exciting is going to be st up for the uh, uh how much exciting is going to be how much exciting stuff i'm going to do this week or at least for the first two weeks I am really 100% concentrating on getting that Qualcomm figured out. Um, well, not figured out, just, you know, getting used to the different macros that I gotta use, uh, you know, uh, arrive at stop, leaving stop, loaded stop, uh, border thingy, uh, you know, there's a bunch of different things I gotta learn. Also with the e-logs I'm doing at the same time. Um, I'm doing paper logs for the first couple of weeks. I know a lot of you guys are saying, well, why is that? Uh, and that's because uh, the first two weeks I got to train or however long they feel it I need on the logs, e-logs. Um, but I got to do the paper logs because I'm going to screw up the e-logs, you know it. I'm going to punch in something wrong. So right now it's uh, training on the e-logs for the first minimum two weeks. So let's see how good I can do in getting it down within two weeks. I apologize if the light on the camera is going in and out here, guys, just because it's sunny out and where I have it positioned up high here and off the side window. Um, any rate, hey, there I go with that any rate again. Sorry. <laughs> I'm doing it again. Okay, so first week, first, uh, well, this is sort of the second trip now. Um, I did... Uh, a little one uh, just locally for uh, dispatch. They needed, oh, excuse me, itchy nose. They needed a trailer moved uh, or a movement done. So I did it. It was just a little one, you know, 150 miles. But then I got this trip, which is taking me now down to uh, North Carolina. Of course, that's another thing I got to get used to is uh, running the later hours in the day. With the other job, I could pretty much pick what hours I'm driving. I'm going to try to get myself switched on to uh, where I can start early like I normally like to do. But uh, that may not happen, so I just got to get used to doing my, you know, my shifts and uh, sleeping when I can. I hate running late to the day, but, you know, you got to do what you got to do, right? Um, let's see. Okay, so, yeah, this truck, holy crow, man, what a difference in ride. Uh, so much smoother than the other one now right now I'm running fairly light so it's not too bad um, I haven't had to really test it in the hills yet uh, like I said we're running light well light for me it's like 30,000 pounds compared to what I'm used to which is you know 48,000 pounds 47,000 pounds for a payload so big difference and a huge difference pulling a dry van again. I haven't pulled one in I don't know how long. And uh, let me tell you, it's like a big sailboat behind me there. It's bouncing me all over the place with the wind. Very windy day today. So, at any rate, yeah, I hope to bring, bring you some good stuff this week. Uh, we're going to do, uh, we're definitely going to do the inside tour of the cab here for you. And uh, you guys will uh, look for that video going up once I get home. Uh, right now, I don't know... Uh, for uploading at the truck stops the speed isn't that great so I'm only gonna upload when I get home but of course you're already gonna know that because when you watch this it'll be when I'm home so there you go but I will do uh, updates uh, during the week uh, from my phone so anyway 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 I can't stop saying it I'm addicted to that sorry hey everyone all right it's dinner time and we are cooking with the Burton yep since I'm without a microwave and uh, the comfort, some of the comforts that I had in the last truck, and I know some of you say, oh, that sucks, that's kind of no good. Actually, I kind of like it. So we got our tin foil pan, and now we're just going to get our food ready. All right, so what we're going to have is uh, I'm going to show you guys that you can still have 
your uh, microwavable meals in the uh, Burton. That's what it looks like in the dish for the microwave. And that's the smart ones, and we're going to put it here in the uh, tin foil. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that, since I'm one-handed. Actually, I wonder if I got room here. Oh, there we go. Look at that. See, and I was starting to think I wouldn't have a little shelf to uh, put the camera on so I could talk to you guys. But I just realized if I open up the cupboard, I can do that. So what you want to make sure is make sure it's not frozen, obviously. Oops, now the cupboard's going to open up on me, close on me here. I'm going to smack you guys in the head. So you just want to make sure that it's already defrosted a bit. So once it's been in the cooler uh, a day, chances are pretty good that it's going to defrost. Now we bought this on Sunday. It is Tuesday. So it's defrosted. So now's the part of the week where we have to start eating these for the next uh, three days. And then we'll have our... Uh, canned food for the latter half of the week and then we'll go do some groceries again hopefully while we're working on the canned food mm, nom, 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 nom. Mm, it tastes good cold but let's not so just want to spread it around a bit now I've already gone and plugged in the uh, Burton Oops. okay start preheating it oh yeah it's getting warm so We've uh, placed her in the Burton. And we're going to close her up. And then we're just going to let her sit for a bit. Alright. So, now we'll close the cupboard a bit here. And we'll put away all our junk. Yeah. Alright, so we've got it in the stove. And we just want to look at the timer here. 8.25. 26. We're going to see how long it takes to uh, cook one of these microwave dinners in the Burton. Ah, and I've got an email. Look at that. Isn't that a shocker, eh? Anyway, yeah, so we're just sitting here in the bunk right now. And yeah, my seat does swivel. I will swivel it in a little bit. So you guys can see a little bit of the dash here. I'm going to do the uh, inside tour uh, for you this week. And I love it because right there, and I'll show you a little bit later in the tour, that I've got two double cupboards underneath. i got to reposition my CB. Plus, i got the shelf up there with the netting, so nothing's going to fall down. And this is what's considered a Skyrise sleeper because of the double bunk, okay? So, at times it may appear like there's not the same amount of room as there was in my last truck. But in actuality... There is, but because this truck has way more cupboard space and has two beds in it, it only appears that way, guys. So, but at any rate, uh, what a ride! Holy Jesus, this thing ever smooth compared to the other truck. So, at any rate, uh, yeah, we're cooking dinner, and uh, I'll check with you in uh, half a second, like the next clip, and we'll see when the dinner's ready. So, as you can see, I've got the food out. It's cooked, it's nice and hot, and we're in the dark eating, watching some TV, and uh, yeah, lots of fun. Hey everyone, alrighty, it's Wednesday morning, oh my gosh, I, you know, two years uh, driving the flatbed there for the other company, and I've never, <laughs> ever gotten to bypass that Winchester scale on... Uh, I-81 here in Virginia and uh, holy crap pre-pass dude I got to bypass I didn't even have to get off the highway oh my god I love bike I'm just so excited I'm, I'm, I'm excited I mean what can I say pre-pass I love it I've missed it so much you know because the last time I had it was when I was here at Celadon you know five years ago uh, five to seven years ago. Yeah, I started seven years ago and then I left at any rate. You know what I mean? Like the last time I was here, I had pre-pass and I've forgotten how much I love pre-pass. I love pre-pass. All right, here we are Wednesday night. And just to prove, see, swivel seat. So, yeah, I know it looks a little bit disorganized here right now, but it's actually not. I've got a Rubbermaid bin here and I'll show you guys a little bit later when I do my, uh, my, uh, my, 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 my cab tour. Yeah, that's it. So, all right, 
so we're sitting down waiting to cook dinner and tonight's choice is another smart ones yes box food Trevor but it's yummy and 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 and, and it's uh, Weight Watchers Weight Watchers yes sir so I know that's supposed to make a difference oh my goodness let's just sit down here okay so we got the AC on too high I know is there such a thing Okay, so the truck is idling. It's got a bit of a rough idle. Uh, not really rough, but you can't really fast idle it. So, uh, I don't know. Any anyway, rate, okay, not a big deal. I don't know if you can hear it in the video. Most likely can, I'm guessing. So, any anyway, rate, just a quick sneak peek. I know it's in the uh, truck tour video, but... Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to blow in your face. There was a piece of dirt right there. Anyway, okay, so like I've got my cooler sitting on the seat here, and a good place to put my paper towels, any rate. And I gotta go empty my garbage after dinner because it's getting full. But uh, the reason being is because I'm gonna use the uh, spot that's meant for the fridge. I've got this one Rubbermaid drawer here, and I've got a I've got a second one like that at home that'll fit perfectly in here. Right now I've got orange juice in my shoes there, but I'll put, uh, I'm going to put the other Rubbermaid thing there and I'm going to probably put some of my cleaning supplies and whatnot in it. And there's a little bit of room under the bunk. Of course, I didn't make my bed properly this morning. So there's some other storage containers. Some of them are going to come home. Some of the stuff, but the heating unit's under there for the winter time. I don't need it right now. You can see the top of it there. It's in there. See? So, at any rate, yeah, I know I got some stuff on the bed, but I have to move it because I'm cooking. We're using the Burton again tonight. Yes, sir. No microwave. See, no microwave would normally sit here, but we're not allowed big converters. And there's the TV with my DVD player. Still haven't quite figured out where I'm going to put the uh, speakers. Because I have some external speakers that I want to put somewhere. I'm thinking I might mount one there, and then I'll put one in the cupboard to the right of the cupboard there in that shelf. Gotta figure out how I'm gonna mount it, but we've got this nice little storage thing back here. Haven't really got much in it, and I don't know what the hell to put in it, you know. And then up there, I got storage, storage. So, you guys that were thinking that this was uh, smaller than the other one, I mean, it's a sky rise because it got the second bunk. Now, you can't lift the bunk up, but uh, you know, it's uh, it's just as much. Geez, I don't know how to hold this thing. What the frig? Hey, we'll put you there. There we go. Now, Jesus, Murph, now you're down. I gotta look at you like this. Hopefully, you're not vibrating too much. So, at any rate, yeah, so I gotta figure out how to solve this vibration in here. It's because of the idle, and I asked a couple people, but they can't put these things on the fast idle for some odd reason. So, maybe if I put my shoe on the gas pedal or something and just leave it sitting there, I don't know. We'll figure it out. It's not that bad. I haven't slept with the truck running yet, but it's uh, it's fairly warm out. And, uh, at any rate, I'm not going to worry about it. So the week's going by good. Uh, we've had three loads. Like, we had the one little load that we uh, left from the yard with. And then we did the trailer drop in uh, Brampton for them. And then we ran Bobtail all the way out to Belleville to pick up. And then we brought that load down to North Carolina. Dropped it there. And then grabbed another empty trailer. Went to... Uh, here to Virginia, picked up this load, which again was a drop and hook, so no sitting at the shipper. It's great. In and out fairly quick. Uh, it's a little slower for me right now because I'm still getting used to the paperwork and the and sending in the messages, but uh, wow, awesome. So three loads, three drop and hooks. Uh, weeks going by. We're on our way back north towards Montreal. All right, everyone. It is Thursday evening. We are stopped for the night. It's gorgeous out. We're at uh, the rest area here in Preble, New York. And there's just a few of us here. There's only a couple of trucks on the other side, too. It's a small international. All right, guys, you can see, uh, I know some of you in the videos have said that I've got less space in here. So you can see I've got my uh, bathroom mats here, and I've got about a two-inch overlap here. Okay, and the reason being is is this cupboard here yeah I know my table stuck out it sticks out a little further and you can see just the gap right here between from here to here sticks out quite a bit 
versus here, you know, there's there's virtually nothing sticking out. This is about the size of what the cupboards were, like depth-wise. You can see how far back it goes here. Uh, and I'll just stick my arm in here, okay? It's about how deep it was in the other truck for cupboard space. Whereas this one sticks out, you know, it's almost twice as deep, okay? So it's quite a bit deeper. Same with this one here. Now, also the bed is a lot bigger, okay? So it comes out this way from the wall more. This is actually a 42 inch mattress, whereas the other one I believe was only 38 inches. My sheets were too big for the other mattress and this one they just fit. So also I wanna show you real quick if I can. You guys remember in my past video and I'll try to move the chair here a bit. Okay, you can see around the shifter. Oh, we'll move this. Now my bin's here. But you guys get the idea. The, the toilet mat fits right around the shifter. See, now that I've got a shifter, I can use my toilet mat. I know, wasn't that exciting? I don't know if you guys can hear the sizzling there. You can see it popping there. It's boiling. It's only been, well, it's been about 25 minutes. And the stew is a la cooked. So now you guys know what I'm having for dinner. Ooh, better. Well, it would appear we have a, have a little bit of an accident up here. It would appear from the chatter that truck driver went off into the ditch. And it's one of the more popular companies that truckers don't like. It looks like he hit something too here. Like a FedEx truck. I'm thinking he ran into. No, oh, no. Looks like the FedEx truck ran into him. Or something. Oh, well, maybe he came across. I don't know. But it's not pretty. That X definitely ran into him. Or something. Not sure where he came from. Which farm marker? He's right in the bush there. Alright, we're sitting here and uh, while we're waiting for our reload, uh, I decided to put my noggin to work and figured out what I'm going to do with my DVD player. So as you can see, I've mounted it on top of the TV. Yeah, there's the strap going over that holds the TV in place. And there's the one in the back here. But what I've done underneath, and you can't really see, is I've Velcroed between the TV and the uh, DVD player. And then I put a piece of tissue back here to level it out. And then... Uh, Good old, you can't see, well, you can see the gray there. That's uh, good old Canadian duct tape. And I've got it on this side here, too. Eh, I don't know if you can see much. There we go. You can see it right there. Good old Canadian duct tape. Holds her in place. And then i got room for my speakers. You're saying, how do the speakers sit there? Well, if you listen, I've got them uh, Velcroed to... The carpeting that's on the uh, stand here and this is my on off switch for the uh, volume for my speakers and the subwoofer is down here with the inverter you can't really see it back there but it's down there yep it's using the noggin now let's hope it all stays there we'll find out won't we? <laughs>